You want to get an edge on turning back the clock with just a few pills? Who doesn't? Well, it's no longer science fiction, but science possibility, a potential breakthrough. As I found out firsthand, there may be a way to erase years, at least inside my body. I'm here at the University of Colorado in Denver to meet Dr. Joe McCord, a world-renowned scientist. This is a pretty exciting stuff you're finding, huh? It is. We're very excited about it. His latest research could very well unravel the mystery of aging itself. And as decades of experiments may have the potential of adding years to people's lives and possibly prevent chronic diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. It all centers around this small yellow pill, and for me, it begins with a blood test. They want to check my levels of something called T-bars, which is a rough indicator of a person's actual age. T-bars can identify a condition known as oxidative stress, a kind of measure of the wear and tear on our bodies. Oxidative stress, like the rusting of an engine, is not a good thing. Bad for the body. Leading to disease. Leading to disease and leading to malfunction and importantly leading to what we call aging. It is a slow progression of increasing oxidative stress. That's the main characteristic biochemically of the aging process. The problem of aging begins with the very food we eat to give us energy. As our cells burn that food, they also release toxic chemicals. Those chemicals, you may know them as free radicals, react with all the components of our cells, literally bombarding them millions of times per second, damaging all our cells. The result? Oxidative stress. And we all have it. For a long time, scientists thought that antioxidant vitamins like C and E would lower it, but they don't. As it's turned out in just the last five years or so, we see that they're not good enough tools. They're not powerful enough. But this pill, he says, is powerful enough. In fact, many times more powerful. With that swallow, I've just become part of a potentially landmark scientific experiment. It's called Protandum, and tests on both mice and humans have already shown that it revs up the manufacture of those good enzymes in our bodies. More enzymes, fewer free radicals to harm us. But what about my progress? After nearly two weeks now, it's time to get my results. Dr. McCord calculates the numbers. The result, my level of oxidative stress has declined dramatically. 45%, that's, that's excellent. Just look at where I fall on the graph, before and after. Which, if extrapolated back, is, is the level you would see in a newborn baby. Normally, oxidative stress, measured by those T-bars, increases with age. But in Dr. McCord's tests, taking just one pill of protandum a day reversed that trend for everyone at every age, even for an 80-year-old. They all are reduced to the level of oxidative stress that one would expect frankly, in a, in a newborn or a very young child. We found, as many other scientists had documented, that there is a progressive increase in T-bars in your blood the older you get. When these same people took protandum for 30 days, the age-dependent increase in lipid peroxidation was completely eliminated. After protandum, we could no longer distinguish the 80-year-old from the 20-year-old. High oxidative stress is associated with more than aging. It's been linked to hundreds of illnesses. It's at the very center of many diseases. Liver disease, diabetes, emphysema, asthma. Uh, uh, I've studied all of these, strokes, heart attacks. Even mental disease? Yes. Depression? We do know that oxidative stress is part of those disease processes. I don't want to wait until I'm 80 years old and find out that I should have taken. 